Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Respected all, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I welcome you all on behalf of Ilmo Irfan Institute. The mission of our institute is as follows. According to our research, life is equal to 15% technical skills plus 85% human engineering. Therefore, at Ilmo Irfan Institute, our aim is learn to achieve excellence in any technical skill by following the best learning methodology, that is do it yourself. And practicing the three main pillars of human engineering, that are truth, honesty, and justice. To achieve excellence in both technical skills and human engineering, Elmo Irfan offers a course, which is titled as Popular IDEs for C Programming Language in Windows Operating System. It is lecture 11 of this course, Basics of Dev C++. And I'm your instructor, Saman Khan. Let's start with lecture outline. Inshallah, in this lecture, first I will present quick recap after that, I will present basics of Dev C++. Let's start with quick recap. In previous lecture, I presented a step-by-step -step process to run your first C program using code blocks. Recall that real-world problem of this course is to understand main features and learn to download, install, and run C programs on five popular IDEs for C programming language. And proposed solution is learn to use five popular IDEs for C programming language, including Visual Studio, Code Blocks, Dev C++, Code Light, and C Line. Alhamdulillah, work done so far is learn to use Visual Studio and learn to use Code Blocks. And work to be done is learn to use Dev C++, learn to use Code Light, and learn to use C Line. Focus of this lecture is to understand basics of Dev C++. Now I will discuss second part of this lecture, that is basics of Dev C++. Dev C++ is defined as follows. Dev C++ is a full-featured C and C++ integrated development environment or IDE for Windows platform. The main purpose of Dev C++ is to allow software developers to code, debug, build, run, and deploy C or C++ project. An important question is, why should we learn Dev C++? The possible answer to this question is, number one, Dev C++ is free, open source, and easy to use. Number two, Dev C++ is simple and powerful. And number three, Dev C++ supports 30 plus languages. Inshallah, in the next slides, I will present main feature and system requirement of Dev C++. The main features of Dev C++ are as follows. Number one, interface. Dev C++ provides simple and user-friendly interface to develop C and C++ projects. Second feature of Dev C++ is lightweight and portable. Dev C++ is extremely lightweight and portable C or C++ IDE for Windows operating system. Next feature is multiple compiler support. Dev C++ support multiple GCC based compilers like MingW, Sigwin, etc. And last feature is customizable code editor. Dev C++ code editor can be easily customized. Minimum system requirements for Dev C++ are as follows. 
for windows operating system memory or ram of 2 gb 500 mb of free hard disk space 1 gigahertz intel pentium or later processor and dot net 4.5 framework are required to download dev c++ on windows operating system to do and your turn task the to do task for this part of lecture is write down one or more features of dev c++ which are not mentioned in this lecture your turn task is consider the gini ide for c programming language and write down its definition importance purpose main features and system requirements after discussing basics of dev c++ now let's move to lecture summary to summarize in this lecture i presented basics of dev c++ in next lecture inshallah in next lecture i will present a simple and step by step process to download dev c++ for windows operating system father of imam shah waliullah dahlavi honorable shah abdur rahim nurul murkada said all that we have received either the rewards of this world or hereafter are the outcomes of blessings of the rute pak may allah give us strength to recite the rosary abundantly amen we shall be thankful to you if you may please provide your valuable feedback on this lecture jazakumullahu khair may allah bless all of us with his afiyat and karam amin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh